Okay, so I kept going, so I'm up here to the last strip that'll fit in there. So this might get a little tricky. So um, if I were in class with you guys, I would make you tell me which one do I use. And looking at what's here, you should tell me the pink one because I want to repeat that AB pattern with my color. Now, when you get to the end, you could run into the problem maybe there's not enough room. Maybe it looks like it'll fit, but you start to try to get it in there and it just won't work. This looks like it'll be a tight fit. So what I could do, a couple of different things. I can trim this to make it a little skinnier. And this looks like I don't have to take off a whole lot. So I don't want to cut it in half because then it would be noticeably smaller than all the other ones. And I want to be sort of subtle. I want people to think it's the same size. Another thing I can do is if I have to, maybe I have to sort of slip my scissors in here and cut these lines a little bit longer. That you want to be careful because you don't want to accidentally chop all the way through. If you do, you can cheat and pull a piece of tape on the back. All right, so this looks like it'll work. So I'm putting in my last one. So I look at my strip here. What do I do? This one was under, so this one goes, you said it, over. This is where it gets a little tricky because it is a tighter fit. I want to be careful about like forcing things because paper... It's kind of fragile, so I don't want to sit there. And I'm sort of flipping it over to the back, so I guess I should show this to you guys. And I'm scooting it in there so that when I flip it over, I can see it. And I can scoot it through and pull it through. Again, this is where it gets tricky. So the paper is fragile. I don't want to rip it. Now, the other problem I want to worry about, if I sit here like, okay, I'm going to shove this in there. Well, I'm tugging on all these other ones. Do not let them come out. If you do, just... If it's coming out while you're working on it, then finish this one, fix the one that you're thinking about. Then go back, and if you had some that scooted out and came out of order, you can go back and fix those. Now, if you have packed this in there tightly, your weaving should stay together even if you give it a little shake. So mine is staying together. If you want to, you can always flip it over, and you could glue down these tabs. You would only need to do the ones that are A's. So you'll notice like the way that I put mine together. The A's on this end are pink, but the A's on this end, the ones that are over an hour, are the green ones. So if I glue these down and glue these down, it'll hold the whole thing together. All right, guys. I wish I was there in person working on this with you, because then I can see how well you guys are going to do. All right. Good luck finishing up.